is usually just ignore the heart entirely. And you can use, you'll find that these people have guan, left guan pulses that are strong and deep. And this usually means they're anxious and grumpy and irritable and so forth. So you can use the blood mover approach at about 80%. And then the other 20%, you need to get in there and, and sort of unlock their liver. And we have a formula that we make here. We just call it happy liver. And all it is is uh, the following herbs. Hu Zhang, that's Z-H-A-N-G. Huang Shui Chie, that's Huang. S-U-I, Shui Chie, Q-I-E. Cha Chi Huang and Chia Ku Sao. We use 15 grams each of those herbs. We use 20 grams of Yin Chen Hao Tong. And we use 20 grams of Jia Wei Shao Yao Song. I'm sorry, Gezhe Zhu Yu Tong. Sorry. So that's 20 grams of Yin Chen Hao Tong and 20 grams of uh, Gezhe Zhu Yu Tong. The Gezhe Zhu Yu Tong also encourages the blood to flow through the portal vein of the liver. So your 80% of the formula is simply, excuse me, blood movers. And 20% of the formula is designed to take damp heat out of the liver. Give that to them. They will feel a lot better. And the pulses will come up. So the main principle is, if it's fatigue, anxiety, and depression, 90% of the time you'll find that these people have too deep of pulses. Is almost always overweight. And of those people, they will either have a normal heart or they'll have a weak heart. If they have a weak heart, then a good 20% of your formula has to be there to strengthen the heart. It can be Fong Ji Huang Chi Tong, which I like because it gets water out along with strengthening the heart through Huang Chi. Or you can use Ren Shen Yang Yin Tong. You can use Yang Shin Tong. You can use Shi Quan Dabu Wan. You can use all those. But if they're a little overweight and they have water retention, I like Fang Ji. If the, if the whole pulso is deep and kind of pounding, then that heart is not weak. Therefore, do not strengthen the heart. Ignore it. Put in 20% in there to unlock the liver because these people will always be somewhat anxious and grumpy and irritable. So instead of just 80% blood movers, you'll go in there and you'll, you'll clear the heat, clear the inflammation out of the, out of the liver. That's the best way to treat fatigue, anxiety, and depression. If you want to treat it with acupuncture, that's a totally different approach. And uh, I target the heart, is what I do. And you can target the heart on the hands and the feet. The heart treats the heart and the pericardium treats the heart. So heart eight, pericardium eight, both hands. You can use, on the foot, you can use kidney one. Kidney one goes straight into the heart. Okay, that will help increase the, improve the ejection fraction from the heart and to increase circulation. And from there, you're gonna add other needles depending on whether they have pain if it's just wanting to stimulate the heart, you can do that, but only leave the needles in about eight minutes and then yank those needles out and we'll have a stimulatory effect, okay? If the fatigue, anxiety, and depression is not a weak heart, but is this condition where the blood is just completely stasis, then you can resort to Dr. Tan's 12 magic points, which basically treat the sort of overall circulatory system over the whole body. And you can use those 12 magic points you know, you can start anywhere. You can start on the feet or the hands. It doesn't matter. So if the heart's weak, target the heart for about eight seconds with acupuncture. Yank the needles. You can use ear shen men and yin tong if you want to as well. Okay, that's one treatment. If the pulse is pretty strong but too deep, then just use the 12 magic points and leave them in for 45 to 50 minutes. You can also use yin tong and ear shen men. Okay? So I hope it helps you folks, and we'll see you next week. Bye.